Ever heard of infrasound waves? Infrasound waves are sonic vibrations below the normal frequency of human hearing, about 20 hertz. Infrasound is the reason animals get agitated before an earthquake happens, and recent research shows that it may have a huge connection between human hallucinations, akin to hauntings, you know, seeing ghosts, hearing the dead, hearing voices, etc. All that spooky stuff. Hey humans, it's me, George3 here, we're making an old video of mine from years ago, from an older channel talking about infrasound and hauntings. But before we can continue, I would like to ask to make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on for future uploads. Thank you. Now, the brain does perceive the vibrations caused by infrasound waves, but being unable to interpret it as audible sound, our, our brains may tend to reinterpret the energy as visual or audible stimuli. It is theorized that certain people's brains are much more sensitive to infrasound than others, which is why infrasound affects them slightly more than other people, making people see or hear things which others cannot. It's also suggested that due to this, infrasound can cause feelings of awe or fear in humans, and since we humans cannot perceive it due to its low frequency, it make people feel vaguely that supernatural events might be taking place. It's also been shown that infrasound is purposefully added to a lot of music that you hear lately to help give it that spine-tingling feeling while you're listening to the music. Speaking of learning new and exciting things, ever try Audible? Audible is an amazing platform that lets you enjoy all of your audio entertainment in one place. You'll always come to find the best of what you love, or even something new to discover. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre, from bestsellers and new releases to mysteries and thrillers, and more. They have thousands of podcasts from your favorites to exclusive new series and more. New members can try Audible for free today. Visit audibletrial.com slash G-E-O-R-G-3. That's audibletrial.com slash George3. Click the link in the description box to enter the URL shown on your screen right here to get Audible for free for 30 days and a free audiobook per month. Now back to the video. They did an experiment to see the effects of infrasound or infrasonic waves on humans, which took place on May 30th, 2003 in the UK. They exposed about 700 people to music laced with soft 17 hertz sine waves described as near the edge of hearing, produced by an extra long stroke subwoofer, mounted two thirds of the way from the end of a seven meter long plastic sewer pipe. Among other information, which will be provided in a link in the description box below, the participants were not told about which pieces included the infrasonic tones, which resulted in, according to them, a significant number, about 22% of participants reporting anxiety, uneasiness, extreme sorrow, nervous feelings of revulsion and fear, chills down their spines, and feelings of pressure on the chest. Professor Richard Wiseman said about this experiment, These results suggest that low-frequency sound can cause people to have unusual experiences, even though they cannot consciously detect infrasound. Some scientists have suggested that this level of sound may be, may be present at some allegedly haunted sites, and, and so it causes people to have odd sensations that they attribute to ghosts. Our findings support these ideas. Now, there was also research done by a man, by a man named Vic Tandy, who was a lecturer on information technology who, as Wikipedia says, was best known for his research into the relationship between infrasound and ghostly apparitions. His work showed that infrasound, or infrasonic waves, whatever you call it, can affect certain objects, making them move wildly, and even when nothing is touching them, it can affect electrical equipment, including the brain, while at the same time messing with the resonant frequency of the eye, given at 18 by NASA. The sound caused by several things in his lab was at 18.98 hertz. More research needs to be, and I believe is being made on infrasound, and what effects it has on the human brain, but for the most part it seems that most of these stories of ghostly encounters, hearing strange noises, and, and hauntings at haunted houses are just a result of infrasound or infrasonic waves interfering with the brain, causing its inaudible frequency to affect the brain by, by making the person or persons feel anxious, fearful, sad, and hearing voices and or seeing things. You know, one ghost question I never really seen pondered is, is what happens to all earthbound ghosts and spirits if the earth gets destroyed by an asteroid, or when the sun eventually engulfs the earth? Do they automatically go to some afterlife, or are they just floating in space forever or something? These are the questions I think about randomly at night. So I wanted to say thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts on this video, please let me know in the comment section, I'd love to hear them. Don't forget to leave a like. Hit that subscription box if you're not already subscribed, and sure you hit that notification bell to receive future uploads from me. Take it easy now. Bye, everyone. So, I wanted to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single person who viewed this video. Thank you. If you have any comments or thoughts, leave them be in the comment section. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section, please. I read every single one of them. If you know that you subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. 
hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload next. And uh, yeah, have a great day.